a little bit. Can you see me? You can see me. Well, I feel like I have to be back here to be in the shop. Right, right, right. That's right, I'm wearing shorts so you can see my knees. Today I'm going to be rehoming my Philippus Regis female. She's got one more molt until she's full size. I've obviously got one out there who you've already seen. Always got the slings. All about the slings, but she's uh, getting old now, so... Yeah, I imagine she hasn't got a long time left. She's laid a good six egg sacs. Um, so, what she is in is this little jar. Now, I like these jars. I got them quite cheap from... I actually got them from one of these sort of pound shops in the UK. Uh, they sit at an angle. From the bottom. Or they sit upright. I'm not going to do that because it will launch her into the distance and she'll be covered in bark and wood and possibly cause her some damage so let's not do that so this is the new one I've just cleaned it out and given it a wipe some nice clear edges just gonna put a piece of cork bark in there I want to have it at an angle so she can uh, get right in there let's do it. oh it's a call from Cara I'm back I'm back I'm back um, right so this is what I've got so far I've got a piece of cork bark I've got some bamboo going up I've got a curly stick going around um, a few more bits of bamboo to go in there. I mean, this is quite a small enclosure for a um, Philippus Regis jumping spider. Really, the bigger the better. Um, and she probably will be moved up at some point, but for the moment, this is quite a nice little space. And as it is such a small space, what I like to do is, even though I'm taking up space with the things in there, I like to make it really busy, so at least there's bits for her to climb on and to hunt her prey. Um, yeah, to give her a good little run around. So I'll give you some close-ups. So that's what we've got. Let's have a look at her. She's currently in here, in her little web net that they tend to build. Let's get her out of there. Oh, I'm low on battery. I might have to get back to you. Alright, so I'm continuing the video I started yesterday. Um, Marley, will you go to bed? Um, Rehousing this jumping spider. So, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, we've got a little malt here. Oh, that helps in every nose. There she is, as I say, I reckon one more malt and she'll be in her final, uh, her final stage. She's not quite as big as my female, so I don't think she's full sized yet. We can always give it a go and see if we can get her to. You no, know, maybe she is. It might be just that this one's not as big as the other. So, you know what? Well, whilst we're here, let's see if we can do a. Let's see what happens if we put a male in front. These guys seem to be pretty. You can tell if it's going to go terribly wrong normally. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over the top of it. You can tell he's a male because of these little bluey greeny fangs. Lovely looking chap, let's uh, pop him out on the table. <laughs> no, that didn't work. Straight under the table. Right, let's uh, get this girl. Nice hard steel for one end. Oh, no. 
drag this uh, rehoming out far too much hope you enjoyed guys she's a really pretty spider really pretty spider oh these deadly red backs Jesus Christ this bloody deadly warning this video contains deadly red back spiders warning this video contains deadly red back spiders this video doesn't contain any deadly red back spiders all right guys how's it going I'm doing an accent, it's not very good. I'm doing an accent, it's not... I'm doing an accent, it's not very good. I'm doing an accent, it's not very good. Hey, who do you think you are? What is this hair? It's got a hairband in it.